So I'm just chilling out in my little grow room today, doing a few odd jobs, and I thought it was an ideal time to do a quick update on how things are going in here. This is my main seed starting space, really, and it's where I grow on most of my tender veggies. So the tomatoes, the cucumbers, the peppers, and things like that. Try and keep this room about above 10 degrees centigrade at night, probably about 12 degrees, just to give it a little bit of a margin of safety. And obviously it's a conservatory as well as my office and den and, you know, just a multi-purpose entertaining room. And so we just love this room. I get quite a few comments from people saying, my wife would kill me if I did this to the conservatory. Well, Debbie, absolutely loves this room in fact we both do we just love being surrounded by things that are growing we just so much life so much greenery and um yeah we're, we're both just really passionate about growing you know we grow all our own food and um yeah we so we just love to be surrounded by it and i think the beauty of growing edibles in the conservatory space like this is that the rate of growth is so high you know you're just seeing so much progress every day and our little grandson is just uh, coming back from school today and first thing he'll do is he'll be in here running around looking at you know all the different things that have grown you know how big is his potato today that he planted a month ago and all of that sort of thing so we really love it i'll just show you around so this is where I've got most of my stuff. There's the shady shelf there. Kind of got these little shelves there. That's where I've got my propagator to store things on these other shelves. And I've got this top shelf. There's no grow lights on there right now. Um, but as I said, they'll come on a bit later on in the day. So I've just started some potatoes off in here. Basically, I've started all, all the potatoes that I do early. I start in these small containers just for space, basically. It's so much more space efficient to do it that way. Um, but I'm now at the point where everything, I, all the potatoes I'm starting will be just outside or in the polytunnel in their uh, main containers. But uh, yeah, I, I really like this way of getting them started indoors. You don't have to worry about chitting or anything like that when you do it that way. So these are some of my second succession of peppers. I'm not going to have a third because all of these have taken just fine and they're growing really nicely. I'm pleased that I did most of my peppers later on, sort of middle of February sort of time, because otherwise I just would not have space. So yeah, let's look down here. So this is my shady shelf. Lots of peppers down there, really enjoying it. Got a few little tomatoes there, uh, cucumbers, potted on a few tomatoes, very few tomatoes, and that's intentional. I think I've got six tomatoes that I'll grow early, and the rest of them are growing late. I've done a video as to why I'm doing later tomatoes this year, so if you want to have a look at that it's linked in the description of this video and these are early potatoes so these are my second succession these are swift growing quite nicely i was going to move these to the polytunnel i just decided i'd leave them in here because it just looks so nice and i don't need the space right now i will need this space here fairly soon when i need it don't move and these are just the ridiculous tomato potatoes. So these are ridiculous potatoes that I've got. Almost the same size as me. They've been flowering for a while now. I do love these flowers, I've got to say. I don't have many flowers in the conservatory now. I used to have more plants in here, decorative ornamental plants, but now I just have edibles. So it is kind of quite nice actually to have just a few little flowers and I'm very well I wouldn't say I'm concerned I'm intrigued to know what's actually happening in those pots 
because with all this top growth could well not have any potatoes at all but the plants look healthy and they look lovely and so to be honest I just don't care I mean I don't actually eat potatoes so I don't care at all but Debbie will care a little bit more than me but I just just love them I'm really really happy with the way that they look very decorative very lush and these are two months old just over two months old now and uh, yeah I mean I'm kind of hoping that I'll get decent sized potatoes but as I said it's warm in here the light levels aren't you know summer light levels so it's not surprising that the plants are kind of big really huge leaves trying to get as much light as they can growing really tall seeking out again as much light as they can so effectively these are just really leggy lush potatoes anyway i'm intrigued and i've just got one little cucumber there it's going to grow up there again it's going to look really nice in here and then i put cucumbers on this little shelf and i sort of just grow them along that string there they look really nice as well when i'm watching telly i can look at me cucumbers all hanging down and then i've got another one of these lovely big tomatoes and these are aaron pilot and charlotte and these are going to be my early baking potato crop uh, these are going to go on the allotment under plastic in a deep coal frame for harvesting in July, the very, big, very beginning of July, end of June, something like that. So nice and early. And I'm experimenting with bringing that date early, earlier. Obviously, it's possible to get uh, potatoes earlier than that. I mean, we will have potatoes, this year's potatoes, in early April. Um, but they won't be big enough for baking. Um, they just don't, haven't had enough heat or, and light to grow big enough for, ba for bakers. But with fairly good reliability, starting them early March and then growing them undercover, yeah, you'll definitely get baking potatoes in June by then. I like Charlotte's, as I say, because they just get a little bit longer growing time and they just keep so well. And then these are the cucumbers that will go on that little shelf. I've got four in there, but obviously I'm going to snip the weakest ones off fairly soon. Um, and I'll move them to the shelf. But right now, I'm just sort of keeping an eye on them. I've just got some peas just waiting for some slightly, not milder weather, but less stormy weather uh, to go out. And they'll go out in the back garden under fleece. And I've got four of these trays of... Uh, little geraniums, little red geraniums, they're looking good. And I've just potted on, I've just got up here, my chilli peppers. These are the early batch that started in January. So I've potted all those on. They're looking really nice up here. But they soon outgrow this space. And once they've outgrown up here, they need to go on the windowsills. And I've got enough windowsill space for these, but I don't have enough window enough space. <laughs> I don't have enough windowsill space for all of these as well. So that's why I'm pleased that these. I, I decided to uh, sow these a bit later. They'll still be pretty big plants when I come to put plant them out, sort of late May. You know, they'll still be right up here somewhere. But. Uh, that's plenty big enough to be honest. So then I've just taken the lid off my propagator now. It won't be going back on because the celeriac has germinated. And maybe you can just see the first courgette. So I've just got a few courgettes in there and I will gradually sow a few more, but these are going in the polytunnel in a little bubble wrap tents just to keep them extra warm. 
and I'll only be putting two, maybe three, three plants, perhaps in the polythal. I've got five seeds there. I really like ambassador for this. It grows nice and sort of vertical, which is just perfect in the polythal. And I generally, I do them in containers because I want the polythal space for tomatoes and cucumbers and things. And the courgettes will be perfectly happy outside in June. And on top of my bookcase, I've got one more tray of peppers and gradually this space, all the space up here, will be full of peppers. And I've got one more windowsill in here and that's currently got geraniums on it, but they'll be moved out soon. So that is the grow room and a lot of plants now that I'm growing, I've got some in the workshop at the back there and some on top of a wardrobe some in the polytunnel a lot of them are now are going in the back garden the allotment is effectively a hundred percent planted now there's the odd little bit and piece but all i'm really doing on the allotment now is just filling in the odd little gaps because um as i said it's all planted and I mainly I kind of like doing things like under planting things so as plants grow and space kind of opens up underneath them I'm just filling those gaps in with things like radishes and turnips and spinach and, and things like that but all, all the main planting is done so there you go that's my little grow room my name's Steve this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon